दुश्मे फॉर जनरल पीपुल हाउ दे सेलिब्रेट श्री अरबिंदोज बर्थ सेंटेनरी पीपुल ऑल ओवर दी वर्ल्ड एनीथिंग फॉर देम August 15th is my own birthday and it is naturally gratifying to me that it should have assumed this vast significance. I take this coincidence not as a fortuitous accident but as the sanction and seal of the divine force that guides my steps on the work with which I began life, the beginning of its full fruition. Indeed, on this day i can watch almost all the world movements which i hoped to see fulfilled in my lifetime august 15th 1947 is the birthday of free india it marks for her the end of an old era the beginning of a new age but we can also make it by our life and acts as a free nation an important date in a new age opening for the whole world for the political social cultural and spiritual future of humanity i have always said that the spiritual force i have been putting on human affairs is so inextricably mixed up in the tangle of the lower world forces that its results however strong or however adequate for the immediate object must necessarily be partial that is why i'm getting a birthday present of a free india on august 15 but complicated by its being presented in two packets as two free indias this is a generosity i could have done without one free india would have been enough for me if offered as an unbroken whole today is the first day of shri aurobindo centenary year though he has left his body he is still with us alive and active shri aurobindo belongs to the future he is the messenger of the future He still shows us the way to follow in order to hasten the realization of a glorious future fashioned by the divine will. All those who want to collaborate for the progress of humanity and for India's luminous destiny must unite in a clairvoyant aspiration and in an illumined work. What Sri Aurobindo represents in the world's history is not a teaching not even a revelation it is a decisive action direct from the supreme